Go playback. Coils of copper, electric motors, circuit boards, switches and magnets, tinkering and figuring out things with gears, that one day I could be an engineer. My name is Somi Pak, and I am the costume designer for Burning Man the Musical. My story, I feel like, is a very New York story. I met a artistic director at a bar. He said that he needed a costume designer because he didn't want to do it himself. And I said, I'll do it. <laughs> I will do it because I really wanted something different to just sink my teeth into in New York. I've always been you know, flittering with my career, or what I wanted to do as a grown-up, and it's constantly changed. It went from doctor to lawyer to foreign service officer, and I wanted to be a diplomat. My dad would always say, like, when you find it, you'll know what it is. Then I found myself in New York, and I was like, oh, costume design. You always remember your first production. It was opening night, the curtain rose and fell, and I just was like, oh my god, is this what it feels like to be a part of something that you created? I just sat there in the dressing room after the final curtain and I just started crying because I don't think I've ever felt that way before. And then I got very scared. For 10 seconds, I was like, this, this is what I want to do. And then I realized, but how do I do it? For a person who went to college, went through all the motions of getting a corporate job, now is looking at something artistic, thinking, no one in my family has done this. What am I going to do now? Yes, I knew that that's what I wanted. But then I think with any creative doubt always inevitably creeps in. I love costume design because it's so much more than just putting clothes on people. I think one of the main things a costume designer does is research. They not only research you know, the time period, if it's a period piece, they research not only the psyche of the character, but the social economic status of the character. So we focus on the micro and the macro. Let's uh, put your bracers on and then the human aspect of costume design. Interacting with actors is a very big thing when you're behind the scenes in fitting rooms and watching them on set and helping not the character but the actor work through their journey is also a big thing as well. I am the first person to come on set every day. Generally, it's about 7.30 a.m. When I come in the morning, I make sure that everything is organized for the day. I go through shot lists and ensure that I have everything that each character needs prepped and ready. And then I get my first actor around 11.30. I talk with them, make sure to gauge their temperature. You have to make sure that your actor is also feeling great. Honestly, it's kind of a calming moment before she goes on set, just to kind of talk through the costume. This is one of my favorite pieces. I consider myself to be a very detail-oriented person. As a costume designer, I cannot enjoy my work without adding the details that I found throughout my research woven into the costumes of the characters. On uh, one of the actor's costumes, there's 86, which is the year that Burning Man was founded. I etched zone number four on someone's hat. That was from the Cacophony Society when they finally decided that uh, Black Rock City was gonna be their home. Those tiny details uh, particularly color. I'm very heavy-handed with color. Hazel, Molly, Joe, they're all in blue because they represent water and loyalty and 
trust. As you can see, the goggles are actually indeed blue, so we're kind of living in that blue family. And Molly is meticulous, and she has additional pieces, unlike everybody else's goggles. Everything on her outfit is stylish, but it's utility. These are Bill the Billionaire's pants. I wanted Bill to be in gold, so we found a nice, lovely gold brocade that I was happy with. Kind of ostentatious and ornate, and you can see the gold embroidery throughout. When I designed Bill, I kept thinking King Midas. He's gilding the lily. He's unnecessarily adding to gold to something that is already nice, and he just wants to vamp it up with money, so most of his costuming has gold embroidery on it. He's basically gilded in gold. Scene six, alpha, take four. I would assume like I'm, I'm sweating in the desert, right? <laughs> Molly is a very strong character. She's very much like strong and silent and there's there's a world bubbling up in her. Another important detail is that they have sheeple in the show and the writer Matt and Tyler wanted something that showed Bill being a wolf versus the sheep and this is kind of foreshadowing because I tried to find something that looked like a wolf pelt. And so she has essentially defeated the wolf within her costume as a foreshadow to the end of the story. I wanted to kind of show that she didn't need to change as much. She just needed to be reminded of who she is. There's never a time where I randomly put something on someone. There's always a reason for each detail, each item. I'm hoping that perhaps the audience can catch all the details of certain colors, certain designs, certain shout outs to the burner community. I hope they can all see that. The most rewarding thing of this project so far is just seeing the actors in person again, showing them their costumes and seeing the reaction to their costumes. That's something that I've been without for a year and some odd months that we've been in this pandemic and I really, really, really missed it. It's all the stuff. Look at it. When I see an actor put one of my designs on, smile and dance around, it's an incredible feeling. It still thrills me that I'm creating art and that someone is wearing it, someone's filming it, and it's going to be for the masses to consume. That still, seven years later, tickles me. And I hope that that feeling never goes away because that is truly a wonderful feeling. Mm -hmm.